Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And in this video, I'm here with the XR2 at Howl Base on Phobos. This is going to be a fly with me style video. It's been a quite a while since I did one of these types of videos. This is going to be a uh, sort of a follow up to the learn with me that I did where I was trying to figure out how to go from from Hal Base down to Olympus and do it in some form or fashion that was reasonably quick. And I uh, feel like I accomplished that goal, the learning part of it at least. So now I just want to try that flight again now that I at least know how to do it. And I've spent quite a bit of time in the last month or two sort of doing various atmospheric landings at Olympus, uh, thanks to Dimitri's uh, various challenges that he's put together. He's got a, a Martian's moon tour challenge that I tried and had fun with, and he's got a landing challenge that's uh, really interesting that you have to actually land on the runway at Olympus. It's really difficult. So it kind of reminded me of this learn with, me, learn with me that I did earlier this year, and I thought it'd be fun to come back to it. All right, let me first check the external cooling is on, and then is. If we bring up the map, we're going to reference Mars. And remember that we've already gone through, I've already gone through and sort of done the long explanation for how this flight works, so I'll put a link in the description down below if you, if you missed that one. If you're new to the YouTube channel and you missed those flights, then you're going to want to go back and look at probably the third one that I did where I really lay this all out and explain in thorough detail what I'm doing here. So I'm going to shortcut that this time and just kind of set up what I need to set up. I'm going to reference Phobos, or rather we're going to target Phobos. And if I recall correctly, the time to leave the moon here. Yeah, we're almost actually in that position right now because we need to leave when we're 180 degrees across from this point right here. This is the destination. We actually want to reach this point at our periapsis. Actually, I take that back because we got to remember that Mars rotates and this is going to move forward 15 degrees so we actually want to arrive at this point so one two three four five and six yeah Phobos is almost in the position that it needs to be in so it's at 53 degrees now we're just going to warp time forward a bit because it'll be 60 degrees when it's crossing that line So when we get to like 58 degrees, we'll hover up off the pad. That's close enough. APU on. Hover doors. And this isn't the expert configuration. This is just the default. It's the same configuration that I was using when I did the alarm with me. But for this flight, it doesn't really matter. Turn off external cooling, I always forget. Using onboard O2. And let's hover up. Wheels up. Gear up. And that's probably sufficient hover. We don't need a lot. Phobos is very weak. Gear up and locked. Gravitationally. Close the hover doors. And we're 58.5. APU off, switch over to orbit, and we know we're basically rotation going to be retrograde, and then I remember also that it was a lot of, a fair bit of down in terms of the uh, plane change. But we don't have to just guess, obviously, we'll set it up using transects. 
we can get the initial position established. Be about like that. Let's bring up the larger view. Shows up a lot better in the uh, video playbacks. So transex setup. Just going through my thought process here. We're going to be going through the variables here. We need auto plan off and we need advanced on and I saw another variable yeah graph projection I want this to be focus gives me a better look at things I think <clears throat> and what else do we need oh yeah plan has to change So plan type, instead of initial, it needed to be, I don't remember if it was through point or cruise plan. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, so this gives us, this gives us all the important details for, for Olympus. But we do need to turn draw base off and come over here and select no base now target Olympus runway will be fine and then draw base on and that gives that's make that just makes sure that we have all the information that we need and we can see that our off plane distance is negative uh, it's almost 700 kilometers and we're right about time to do the burn translation rotation very close and this doesn't give me uh, any indication of what I need the down pitch to be for the for the burn but I just remember basically it was around 40 degrees or something there's probably a way to calculate it but I didn't think to set any of that up ahead of time and it's time to do the burn we're at 60 degrees so let's engage and I'm basically watching the minimum altitude and the off-plane distance. I want them to both be pretty close to zero. And it looks like the off-plane's coming down slower, so I'm going to add in a little more down pitch. I'm going to add in a lot more down pitch. And way, way more down pitch. That's better. They're equalizing a little better now. Back off the engines a bit. Getting really close to where we need to be. Still need that off plane to come down some more. Okay, let me cancel the engines for a moment and think. Minimum altitude is not low enough yet. Okay, now the minimum altitude's coming down more quickly. And the off-plane distance doesn't have to be zero by any means, but we'd like to get it reasonably close. Okay, now I'm more worried about the off-plane than I am the altitude, so I'm getting really close to where I want to be, though. I'm going to say that's good enough. So the off-plane's down to uh, two and a half kilometers, and the minimum altitude's at about ten, so that'll be fine. Okay, so take a look outside should see uh, Phobos back there behind us and we're now on a 
elliptical orbit that will take us down to Mars. And it'll take about two hours to get there. So let's go ahead and warp time ahead. And that's obviously our position. And we're falling around the curve here, the ellipse. And once you get uh, to this point where you pick up your, whatever you call that, like the sine wave here at Mars, you'll notice that all this information kind of goes away, as I mentioned before. A couple things we can do here, just go back to real time for a moment. And we don't need to worry about Phobos anymore, so we can target no orbit. And if we target no base, and then retarget Olympus. Yeah, we get all of our information back here with regards to the off-plane distance. And that can still be useful for the time being. We've got a little ways to go yet, so let's go ahead and continue working time forward. And we're getting reasonably close. So let's go prograde. Bring up Orbit MFD for now. Actually, I don't really need Orbit MFD. I'll bring up Surface. It'll be more useful. Now, I'd like to time this so that... I can get as close to Olympus as possible before I need to begin braking. <coughs> now I do need to close the radiator here very soon. And the retro doors are not open. All right, now let me just kind of go through things in my mind. Track my position here. So you can see when I'm coming towards Olympus, I'm going to be crossing this point. So I actually definitely not target the runway. It doesn't really matter, but let me target Olympus instead. Because obviously I'm not going for a runway landing here. So I know this is about a thousand kilometers out. Let's keep going forward. Some version of this flight would probably make for a good challenge. Getting down to the point where I'm going to want to close the radiator. Pretty soon we'll go to a, go to like 90 kilometers or so altitude wise. Matter of fact, that's close enough. All right, back over to this view. AP on. Close the radiator before I forget. Hit on. Turn on surface controls. I'm going to leave the APU on. It looks to me like I'm going to be getting into the atmosphere before I'm close enough to the base to want to do that. Uh, high angle of attack, so we're going to want to roll over here. Get a little closer to the base. Zoom in on the map a bit. 
4,000 meters a second. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of ride this out for a moment. I don't want to accelerate time here at this point and get in too big of a hurry because I still have a lot of thinking that I have to do. Okay, we're getting down to the point where the atmosphere is going to start really making a difference and then go ahead and roll over and try to bring the vertical speed to uh, closer to zero. thousand eight hundred kilometers out. Okay, once the vertical speed gets right at zero, probably gonna roll over. I'm gonna have to. Mark. Okay, right about there, and I will start start rolling over. Actually, no. Because we don't really need to... I don't want to descend any more than this yet. So let's climb out a bit. I don't want the vertical speed to get too high. So at 100 meters a second, I'll roll over. Start to roll a bit early, actually, because it takes, you know, a little bit of time to roll. So we'll start to roll now. There we go. Put in a bit of up pitch. Just keep climbing a bit. Information. APU fuel 80%. Okay, now let me bring up arrow brake on this side. Target Olympus. And start to get some idea of how much braking I'm going to need. I feel like I can get a lot closer to the base than 1,300 kilometers. I haven't really slowed down all that much because if I recall my... when I arrived I was only just a little bit over 4,000 meters a second. So I haven't done a lot of braking yet. Okay, down to a thousand, about 1,100 kilometers out. Zoom in another level. been gone two hours 12 minutes since we uh, 
had wheels up at Phobos. Okay, now we're down to 900 kilometers, so... Alright, things are going to start happening very quickly. Uh, actually, let me do this. I need to get some negative velocity, or negative vertical speed. So let me pull down into the atmosphere. Okay, we're going to hope that's good enough. And I'm going to roll over. I feel like I'm starting this too soon, though. Yeah, we'll see. And engage. And that's what I wanted to see. I want to see that this stays. Uh, I don't want to climb. Mock 19. Still not getting this right. Because I'm going to overshoot the base big time. Well, I'll see if I can make it work. Mock 18. I'm gonna have to lower that AOA though because the vessel will start doing this if it's if it's that steep. Okay, well. So I'm gonna overshoot the base. But I might be able to circle around and come back. It's really tricky to do that on Mars though because the atmosphere is so thin that it just takes huge distances to turn around. Okay, so what I, I started that at about 800 kilometers. Clearly that's not enough. Um, probably maybe 1200 for the next attempt. Mock 17. I need to figure out if I can calculate this instead of just trial and error. Trial and error is so sloppy. Alright, I'm going to do a bit of 10x here because... Yeah. Mock 16. This was terrible. So the base should be like over here to the right somewhere. Oh, there it is. And I'm still at 46 kilometers altitude. A little bit more 10x to get the vertical speed so that we're slowing down. There now we are. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Mock 15. Okay, forget the attitude hold. Once I get a little bit lower, um, in fact, I'm going to do it now. Wow, we still have some respectable amount of velocity. Let's see if I can turn around, head back to the base.
getting a bit more steering control here when I get closer to 35 kilometers. Because you can see if you look at the heading right now, well now it's starting to adjust, but when I was up around 40 it really wasn't moving. I'm already 600 kilometers past the base, but I still have enough velocity to get back. Actually, I should probably turn the other way, though, now that I think about it. So instead of turning toward the north, I should turn toward the south. Information. APU fuel 70%. Mach 14. Apparently, I had it the right way in the first time. Eight hundred kilometers past the base. Mock thirteen. Now I'm getting steering. Watch the temperature. Actually, that makes sense. I was thinking I would get steering at 35 kilometers, but I'm going a lot slower than I would be, like, in a, like in the landing challenge that Dimitri did, so I would have to be much lower to get the steering that I need. Let me Mach 12. climb out a bit. because I'm lost. Mock 11. So I think the best I can hope for now is just to get in the vicinity of the base. Mock 10. takes so long to turn. And it's just eating away my velocity. A thousand kilometers out. Mach 9. I don't think I'm going to have the range now. We'll find out very soon, as soon as I get basically lined up with the base, I'll be able to level out and then look at arrow break to see if I've got the range or not. Mock. Eight. Okay, so I'm almost pointing at Olympus.
900 kilometers out. Okay, let's try that. Mach 7. I'll go back to level flight. And yeah, I still have the range to get over there. Interesting. Okay. Um, it's, it's going through my mind to actually try to line up with the runway, but I'm too close for that. Okay, so what I need to do... Alright, let's not climb, though. Because we still need to slow down. It's really tempting to try to line up with the runway, but... Nah. 800 kilometers, that's not, that's, that's, I'm too close to the base. You need, you need to be lined up with the runway when you're at least a thousand kilometers out, preferably 1500 kilometers. If you're any closer than that, and you're not very well lined up already, then it's just not going to happen. Okay, rolling back over. So now what I want to do is just basically get as close to the base as I can without having to use hover and all of that. Okay. 700 kilometers up. Boy, I need a bunch of MFDs open right now. I'm going to need surface. Really hope my frequencies are already set. They should be. One fourteen twenty, yes. One twenty nine seventy, no. That's stupid. Okay, one twenty nine seventy for that. Have to remember to set that up on this scenario. Throughout the air brake, only 600 kilometers out. Not hiding anything there, am I? No. Mock six. Okay, so I'm 600 kilometers out from Olympus. And according to Aerobreak, MFD, I've got all the energy that I need to get over there. I've actually got excess energy. So I still have to spill off some speed. According to Aerobreak, my velocity when I get there is going to be 700 meters a second. Actually closer to 800, it looks like. So let's get rid of some airspeed, let's bring the altitude down a bit, get down into some denser air. Help slow things down. And before I forget, let me open the retro and hover. You know, I can throw the radiator back out at this point as well. <coughs> okay, pitching up a bit to check my range. Closing the air brake. Okay, so now I've still got range to get to 
Mach 5. Olympus, and I'm going to be going 600 kilometers a second when I get there. Looks like my alignment could be better. And keep in mind, I have not used any main fuel yet. I've not turned on the hover engines either. I still have the range to get to Olympus, I'm already, wow, I'm 400 kilometers out. So yeah, once you start slowing down, it takes a lot longer to get where you're going. I should probably close those retro doors for now. Okay, I'm just going to glide for a bit. I have 400 kilometers to go. Um, one thing I can do, bring up burn time and just start getting an idea. Actually, retro doors have to be open. Start getting an idea of how much time it's going to take me to use the braking engines. Okay, we're going to use retro and we're saying it's going to be something like 500. So 20 kilometers. Information. APU fuel 60%. If you don't know where I'm getting that number at, if, if I kind of pitch up here a little bit, and I can see here I've got the range to get over to the base. And according to Aerobrake MFD, my current velocity, it's, it's saying that based on you know, the drag that I'm experiencing and everything. Four. My velocity is going to be this number. It's really hard to read, but if you actually hit projection, it's easier to see it. Uh, it says my land time is there, and then right below that, my landing velocity is going to be 486. And I believe this is fairly accurate, but it depends on several things. If I throw out the air brake, this is going to go down. But let me... Uh, pitch a little or roll, roll a bit to the left get better aligned roll a lot to the left Okay, I'm 295 kilometers out. Oops, and I'm rolling too long. Okay, now if I add in a bit of up pitch, I can see how much range I've got. I've still got all the range I need. And according to Aerobrake MFD, my velocities at Olympus is now down to 440. I'm going to start adding in some up elevator so I don't have to have as much pressure on the back stick. <clears throat> okay, I'm now at full up elevator. I'm slowing down enough now that it, uh, it, the XR2, or if you were in the Delta Glider, it starts to get loose feeling starts to kind of slip around the sky a little bit. It's still okay at this velocity, but every 10 or so meters that drops off at this point, it starts to become very loose. It feels like you're stalling basically well because you are. Okay, so that number is now 
going to be. Actually, do I need to base it on... I shouldn't base it on that number, though, because that's how fast I'm going to be at that point. I need to know how fast I am right now. But I've still got room to go, but we'll put in the uh, 550. So that'd be 24 kilometers, or 226 kilometers out. Looks like I can roll to the right a bit. Yep, that's good right there. So now we're back to the left. We'll zoom in on map MFD, but and we're only 193 kilometers out, and we're moving so quickly that that number is going to come down very quickly. So take a quick drink. Mock three. Because that's the last opportunity I'm going to have to get a drink until I land. Hundred and fifty kilometers out. Retro doors are open, hover doors are open. Five thousand. Hundred and thirty four kilometers out. You might be able to see the base here soon. Four thousand. the air brakes if I can lead off spore velocity for free. So 25 kilometers, we can get in a little closer than that though because we're slowed down a bit more than, than what I have in burn time calculator. 3,000. Yeah, it's, the vessel's very loose at this point. Rotation. Okay, we're 70 kilometers out. You are cleared to land. Just 
try to bring my vertical speed up closer to zero or zero it out Mach 2 about 50 kilometers out we've slowed down quite a bit since that last number so let's go with 430 so that's 15 kilometers that we can be we can be within 15 kilometers before I need to start the retro engines. Forty-five kilometers out. This vessel loose. Eight hundred. Seven hundred. Six hundred. Five hundred. Four hundred. Thirteen kilometers out. 300. Warning. And we're gonna have gear to engage. Is up. Auto. Uh, 200. Warning. Gear is up. Altitude hold, rather. And. Retro engines. Don't need this anymore. Translation. Rotation. Translation. Rotation. Not at all happy with this. Rotation. Translation. hard for me to anticipate for some reason when I see the arrows diverging I can't remember if I need to yaw left or right I always get it wrong well I got within 10 kilometers at least without having to use any hover or retro engines and obviously I could have touched down near the base just using the wheels but kind of want to land on the landing pad. Like I feel like, you know, like the floor is lava. If you touched anywhere outside the landing pad, then you failed. Okay, we're almost over the center of the pad. Rotation. Translation. Oh, 
Warning, gear is up. Gear down. Warning, gear is up. Gear down and lock. even drifted off the center a bit. That's her time. Two hours, 47 minutes. Hmm. Well, there's still obviously a lot of room for improvement there. I'm really not sure how much faster it would be if I hadn't overshot the base, because if I started the atmosphere breaking sooner, then I would, I would have just glided toward Olympus uh, in the other direction, so I don't know. I wonder if like a two hour and 30 minute time limit, I wonder if that would work. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that would be possible. So I just have to think about that. Okay, well, I had fun with that. And I'm going to do this again, I don't know when, but I, I just like this particular flight, it's interesting to me. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time. Auto plan off, and we need advanced on, and I saw another variable, yeah, graph projection, I want this to be focus, gives me a better look at things, I think. <clears throat> and what else do we need? Oh yeah, plan has to change. So plan type, instead of initial, it needed to be... I don't remember if it was through point or cruise plan. Yeah, that's what we need. Okay, so this gives us this gives us all the important details for for Olympus. But we do need to turn draw base off and come over here and select no base now target Olympus runway will be fine. And then draw base on. And that gives that's make that just makes sure that we have all the information that we need. And we can see that our off-plane distance is negative. Uh, it's almost 700 kilometers. And we're right about time to do the burn. Translation. Rotation. Very close. And this doesn't give me uh, any indication of what I need the down pitch to be for the, for the burn. But I just remember basically it was around 40 degrees or something. There's probably a way to calculate it, but I APU on. Over to worse. And this isn't the expert configuration, this is just the default. It's the same configuration that I was using when I did the learn with me, but for this flight it doesn't really matter. Turn off external cooling, I always forget. Using onboard O2. And let's hover up. Wheels up. Gear up. And that's probably sufficient hover. We don't need a lot. Phobos is very weak. Gear up and locked. Gravitationally. Close the hover doors. And we're 58.5. AP off, switch over to orbit, 
and we know we're basically rotation going to be retrograde and then I remember also that it was a lot of a fair bit of down in terms of the uh, plane change but we don't have to just guess obviously we'll set it up using transex but we can get the initial position established be about like that let's bring up the larger view shows up a lot better in the uh, video playbacks so transex set up just going through my thought process here we're going to be going through the variables here we need okay welcome to another orbiter 2010 video and in this video I'm here with the XR2 at Howl Base on Phobos this is going to be a fly with me style video it's been a quite a while since I did one of these types of videos this is going to be a uh, sort of a follow-up to the learn with me that I did where I was trying to figure out how to go from from how base down to Olympus and do it in some form or fashion that was reasonably quick and I uh, feel like I accomplished that goal the learning part of it at least so now I just want to try that flight again now that I at least know how to do it and I've spent quite a bit of time in the last month or two sort of doing various atmospheric landings at Olympus uh, thanks to Dimitri's uh, various challenges that he's put together he's got a a Martian's moon tour challenge that I tried and had fun with and he's got a landing challenge that's uh, really interesting that you have to actually land on the runway at Olympus it's really difficult so it kind of reminded me of this learn with me learn with me that I did earlier this year and I thought it'd be fun to come back to it all right let me first check the external cooling is on and then is we bring up the map we're going to reference Mars and remember that we've already gone through, I've already gone through and sort of done the long explanation for how this flight works, so I'll put a link in the description down below if you if you missed that one. If you're new to the YouTube channel and you missed those flights, then you're going to want to go back and look at probably the third one that I did where I really lay this all out and explain in thorough detail what I'm doing here. So I'm going to shortcut that this time and just kind of set up what I need to set up. We're going to reference Phobos, or rather we're going to target Phobos. And if I recall correctly, the time to leave the moon here, yeah, we're almost actually in that position right now, because we need to leave when we're 180 degrees across from this point right here this is the destination we actually want to reach this point at our periapsis actually I take that back because we gotta remember that Mars rotates and this is going to move forward 15 degrees so we actually want to arrive at this point so one two three four five and six yeah Phobos is almost in the position that it needs to be in so it's at 53 degrees now. We're just going to warp time forward a bit because it'll be 60 degrees when it's crossing that line. So when we get to like 58 degrees, we'll hover up off the pad. That's close enough. I didn't think to set any of that up ahead of time. And it's time to do the burn. We're at 60 degrees, so let's engage. basically watching the minimum altitude and the off-plane distance. I want them to both be pretty close to zero. And it looks like the off-plane is coming down slower, so I'm going to add in a little more down pitch. I'm going to add in a lot more down pitch. 
way, way more down pitch. That's better, they're equalizing a little better now. Let me back off the engines a bit. Getting really close to where we need to be. Still need that off plane to come down some more. Cancel the engines for a moment and think. Minimum altitude is not low enough yet. Now the minimum altitude's coming down.